In this video, I'll show you how to perform get and put operations in Talent. So we have a set of files on our local, um, you know, uh, local computer uh, that we wanted to use a put command to put those files uh, onto Hadoop uh, distributed file system. And also we'll see another example. We will retrieve those files from HDFS to our local. So that way we cover both get and put operations. All right, so let's get started. So here are my input files uh, under talent input uh, airport uh, folder. Uh, so I'll be uh, using these files uh, to put those onto HDFS. All right, so let's go to uh, our HDFS location and see if those you know, files exist. So depending on the version of the um, sandbox you have, uh, the UI will slightly vary. Uh, I'm using 3.0 and this is uh, looking really neat compared to older versions. So I have got um, a section here, uh, HDFS. Once you get into this, you have a menu under that, you go to files view. So this will take us to uh, the folder structure inside HDFS. And I have created a folder already uh, when you scroll down under user HDFS. And then there is a folder called output. So this is where uh, I want those files from my local system to uh, get uploaded here. Right, so right now we don't have any files. All right, so let's start uh, our talent job. So this is our talent job. Um, this uh, consists of only a pre-job component uh, to create the HDFS connection. Uh, in the earlier videos, we have seen how to create the HDFS connection. So if you if you want more details, you can uh, go back to my you know channel and then check that particular video. So for now, uh, I have created uh, the HDFS connection. From the palette window, all we have to do is um, search for HDFS. Right? When you search, uh, you will get a get component and also put component. So as a first step, I want to use uh, the put command and uh, later I'll be using um, you know get command. Right. So for now, let me go ahead and deactivate this particular component. And uh, when you double click on it, so here are some of the uh, configurations and settings. Uh, since we have already established a connection, I'll go ahead and uh, make a check mark here and choose the connection. Right? This is the best way to uh, perform any uh, repeated transactions you know, within your uh, talent job. Uh, the next option is uh, local directory. So this is the source directory right? where we have all the files. Right? I have selected uh, my source directory. And the target directory uh, is our HDFS directory. So when you click on this browse button, it will directly connect to your HDFS and show all the available uh, folders inside it. So for our case, uh, we have our, you know, uh, this is the folder, right? This is where we want to load all these files from our local to HDFS, right? The next option is uh, whether you, you want to overwrite uh, this particular file or not. So based on the requirement, you may choose uh, any uh, operation here. I'll just go ahead and you know choose um, always. And in the last section, you have a way to specify your wildcard based file mask, right? For that, you can um, click on this plus and then create a file mask. So for now, I have got all the CSV files. So you can specify a wildcard like this, or even you can specify something like a star dot uh, CSV, which means all the CSV files starting with A will be picked up and then um, you know put on the HDFS, right? So this is good, and uh, this is a new name uh, when the file is copied onto the cluster HDFS cluster. You have an option to change the naming, so you can do do that uh, setting here. For now, I'll just um, you know go ahead with the existing one. So whatever, whatever uh, the file names I have on my local will be uh, populated on uh, the HDF HDFS. All right, that's all um, the settings. Uh, go ahead and uh, save the job. And uh, you can go ahead and then run it. So the now job is, um, you know, building and then uh, as you see uh, it has connected and then disconnected so there are no error error messages or anything like that all right so if you see this connection is now okay and this is uh, this particular component is executed 
all right let's go to our hdfs folder and then see if the file is generated or not okay so this is my hdfs directory okay i clicked on refresh and we're able to see all the files right this is how uh, you make use of put component to load your local files into hdfs right this is um, the first example and let me go ahead and uh, deactivate this and here i'll go ahead and enable the get component so in this example i uh, i will uh, still go ahead and use the same existing connection right so this is the first step and for uh, the hdfs directory see now for the get operation hdfs directory is our source and local directory is our uh, target right so i'll go ahead and click on this browse button and choose um, that particular folder right we just um, you know loaded these um, uh, things right so we have to choose only the folder right this is our source and our local uh, i will point to output directory of airport see now there are no files uh, in, in my local uh, folder so i'll choose this uh, folder um i would go ahead and you know, do the always uh, right if you are rerunning the job uh, for whatever reason it will just uh, error out so in order to just save that uh, i have kept it as you know enable and i um, will again specify uh, star.csv so all the csv files uh, will be copied onto my local as is there is no um, issues with that if you have multiple files you can give uh, star dot star or you know star dot txt or xls so based on your requirement you can choose this file mask all right so we have set our um, source and target i'll go ahead and run the job okay now the job is completed successfully and i don't see any error or anything like that I'll go ahead and check if my um, files are copied over. Okay, so this is all uh, about using get and um, you know put operations. So initially we had our uh, files in the input directory. We loaded them onto the HDFS, right? All the five files at a time they all copied. Uh, we use the CSV uh, as our file type, right? This is how you copy to the HDFS using put command. And after that, uh, we saw another example wherein we are using HDFS get uh, to get the file from HDFS and then uh, load it into our local directory. All right, so that's all uh, we got um, in this video. And then next video, I'll be showing you how to perform input and output operations, um, you know, in Talon. Thank you guys and have uh, happy learning.